I think it's C. I think it's C. I think it's C too. You have to say it. I know. You're gonna do it? You're gonna do it? You gonna do it? C final answer. <laughs> okay, so basically what we were trying to figure out. Oh boy. Has Hugh Jackman played Wolverine yeah. seven times? Yes. Has Pierce Brosnan played 007 I got seven that at times? The end, yeah. <laughs> we messed up, man. Why are you doing this? It was. <laughs> it was messed up. We spend our afternoons checking in with our friends at General Hospital. And two of the GH stars recently found some drama outside of Port Charles. They were bold enough to leave their daytime world and use their competitive spirit in other ways. Laura Wright and Donnell Turner join us now to talk about some moonlighting they did on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Thanks for joining us, you two. Can Thank I help you with your microphone? How about I help you with that? She's struggling. She can get I'll do it on you. Get it on before. Donnell, you, you answer the question. There you go. Well, you were, you were put in the hot seat. What, what was it like? A lot of pressure to be on it was wonderful. It was a lot of pressure. It's um, it's one of those things where both sides of your brain have to work. Yeah. So um, while you're trying to uh, decode and untangle these, you know, these difficult uh. questions, you have to remember, oh, I'm on TV. So sometimes our thinking face oh, isn't yeah. what oh, we yeah. think it is. Um, Look at the crowd going crazy, though, yeah. for you guys. That was all for him. <laughs> it, it was the shoes I had on. It was, yeah. They were great shoes. Of course. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it was definitely... Um, Nerve-wracking, would it? you say? Like, yes, to yeah. say the least. Oh, because you're backstage, right? And they go over questions on how, like, to give you an idea how your brain would oh. unravel. Because the question always has a trick in it, and they're trying to explain that to you. And you're like, okay. Yeah. And so backstage, we were like, boom, oh, man, yeah. we got this. <laughs> yeah. Like, we're Piece of cake. We're like, so, and the second we walked out, we are like, oh, in the head, like. And yeah. then, then even if the question is so simple, you're like, there's a trick in there. There's a trick. You're, you're, yeah. you, don't, you don't trust anybody. It can't be that easy. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So did you guys have to use any lifelines? I think every oh, single one. Really? Oh, yeah. There was actually yeah, one did. moment where the whole audience knew and we didn't oh, and yeah. I'm like yo I can and, hear y'all laughing and at us oh my gosh we we're so embarrassed because you're <laughs> going I know it's so obvious yeah. but you think there's a trick somewhere and one wrong answer and it's over and we're working and we're doing this for charity and it's like <laughs> you don't want to do that and right. so it's yeah. like oh okay. you'll see <laughs> yeah, yeah, speaking you'll of saying it let's take a look at the clip right now oh <laughs> How fun. I don't know. Wookie Licks is awesome. Uh, yeah, I think I just want to say that. <laughs> Wookie Licks. Um, um, and Linky Wicks is pretty fun, too. I think that's a spoonerism. And on soaps, we always get wacky looks. Oh, so. yeah. Even before soaps, I got that. So I think we've reduced it down to A. Final answer. Oh, that's great. Well, you got that one. And this is all for charity, as you mentioned, Laura. Yeah. So tell me about your charity first. Uh, one Simple Wish. Yeah, it's, a, it's a charity that grants uh, wishes to foster children. Uh -huh. And um, gosh, I, I did an event years ago and worked with um, a young woman who uh, worked uh, along with One Simple Wish. So I was kind of turned on by that. And then I started going on the website and really following them on mm. social media and was blown away what they do nice. for children. I mean, just something as simple as making sure every child has a travel bag with them so right. they don't have, put all their stuff in trash bags mm -hmm. to go from home to home. Exactly. What about you, Donnell? Autism Speaks, uh, it's been a, a cause that's near and dear to me. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be guest speaker at the, uh, at, uh, the Autism Speaks Walk at, at the Rose Bowl in 2016. And um, it's such a worthy cause for such a, an important uh, cause. Yeah, and so sure is. Pleased to wow, raise so money for it. Good it's wonderful job. you guys are doing that. It hey, is hey, really hey. wonderful. So don't miss it. <laughs> don't miss it. It's check it out. You know, come on. Yeah, so sorry. General Hospital, you you know you they play there. But you wanna don't miss that charity who wants to be a millionaire. It is tomorrow again at one PM right here on ABC seven. And of course catch General Hospital weekdays at two PM yes. right here on Eyewitness News. <laughs> you guys are celebrating such a milestone on General Hospital. Well, right. well this this uh, year, fourteen thousand episodes and this is our fifty fifth year. So it's a really big year for us. Years. Oh, and a shout out yeah. to the writers. They just uh, won One, another yes. Writers oh, Guild Award. So they just keep knocking yeah. Wow, that's really great. <laughs> Thanks so much. We get to see you for an hour and a half tomorrow. Yeah. yeah.